As with everything, there are different shades of green when it comes to living an eco-friendly lifestyle. And perhaps no one understands that better than Michael Reynolds, the architect who created Earthship. Homes that look a little like a spaceship but are very down to earth. And while they are far out of the mainstream, they might just be what the planet ordered when it comes to protecting the environment. Looking across the Rio Grande Valley, they're almost hard to spot. Yet nestled in the earth is a series of homes like nothing else. I call it biotecture because I don't think architecture is even coming close these days. They're called Earthships, and their green design is the brainchild of Michael Reynolds. It's not like an idea that came like that. It's like a long, slow process of responding to the world around us and the needs that it presents. For more than three decades, Reynolds has researched and developed self-sufficient housing made from recycled materials. It started, like I said, with can houses. The first can house I got the idea to build, I talked to a much older engineer, sort of, a, uh, you know, uh, my elder, so to speak, in a bar, told him the idea I had, and he got mad and stormed out and said I was a disgrace to the profession of architecture. But Reynolds wasn't phased. In the 1970s, he built his first Earthship and went on to build the first Earthship community just outside Taos, New Mexico. People thought I was crazy, uh, you know, just incompetent, stupid, insane, whatever. The logic behind an Earthship design is simple, with each one constructed using six basic principles. Power generation, water harvesting, and sewage containment and treatment must all be on site. Heating and cooling is done without using any fuel. There's an area for in-home food production, and each Earthship is built using only recycled materials. And all of this is trial and error development, but it happened, it took 30 years. After doing this for 35 years, I just now feel like we know what we're doing. Earthships are constructed partially underground, which helps with temperature control. But the key is tires. To build the walls of an Earthship, tires are packed with dirt and pounded together. So why use trees when you can use tires? But nobody can imagine how to use tires. But if you take a tire and beat it full of earth, it becomes a steel-belted, rubber-encased, thermal-mast, resilient brick. Once the tires are in place, plastic bottles, tin cans, and glass are stuffed in every nook and cranny to fill in the walls. Once the walls are in place, it's onto water. Remember, no wells allowed. So that means each Earthship is designed to capture and recycle rainwater. That water then gets used for everything from taking a bath to flushing the toilet to making ice cubes. Here's how it works. As rain falls on the roof, it's channeled to a cistern where it's filtered. The water is then saved for drinking and other household needs. But it doesn't stop there. Water from the sinks and showers, called gray water, is harvested again and sent to what's called a botanical cell. You take a shower, it runs through this system, waters all these plants, produces all this food, is totally contained. We gather it again, only it's much cleaner after going through all of this. We suck that back up to flush the toilet with. In other words, we flush the toilet with water that you took a bath in yesterday. Toilet water, or black water, does go into a conventional septic tank, but it's later pumped out to the yard, where it's recycled through an outdoor botanical cell, an area of landscaping specifically designed to filter and clean water. It is actually, I have to say, fun to learn all of this. We had to learn how to build out of garbage. We had to learn how to harvest energy. There was no books when we first started doing it. While learning how best to build an Earthship was difficult, Reynolds says it still wasn't the hardest part. The hardest part was, used to be uh, the permission to do it, and it still is. Like, permission from the authorities to let you build out of garbage and run sewage through your living room. 30 years ago, I'd have to sneak out in the woods to do this. Just as Earthships can be designed for any climate, they can also be designed for any price range. For someone who wants to build an Earthship themselves, construction plans start at around $5,500. And for someone who wants a more lavish design, constructed by professional builders, Earthships can cost nearly a half million dollars. So the bottom line is this building, with all of its systems functioning, 
costs maybe 10 or 15% more than a conventional home. But the conventional home would have a six or seven hundred dollar a month utility power water sewage bill heating cooling uh, and this home wouldn't so when you take your mortgage payment plus your utility bill and call that your living expenses these homes net a cheaper way to live whatever the budget reynolds hopes his green earth ships will help pave the way to a more sustainable future and show homeowners everywhere that they can make a difference If you want to learn more about Earthship, there's actually an Earthship movie. It's called Garbage Warrior. It's coming out on DVD this year. And of course, you can log on to our website, weather.com slash forecast earth for more information. Coming up, the story of a local hero known in environmental circles as the most advanced and progressive CEO in the world. I come to work every day to help save the earth. And how upgrading your home's insulation can save you money and help the planet. Just ahead on Forecaster.